Hello and welcome to another episode of me opening up random booster packs of trading cards. In this episode we've got 90s movie cards and we've got some pretty cool cards here. So let's go through the stack and see what we've got. I'll start with this because this was a throw in the guy threw in. This is still more cards from that eBay lot. This wasn't really a pack of cards. It's the Lion King by some company Panini. I've never even heard of this manufacturer. It's just stickers. So... That's, I guess he kind of threw it in with this, which is an actual, it's Skybox. I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to the manufacturers now that I realize that they're kind of different, a few different ones that you see repeated. Uh, Lion King, Series 2, 8 card packs, Skybox. Rays of the Lost Ark, and I got two of these bad boys. And they have gum, and you can hear the gum. It's pretty close to 30 year old gum, so that's not gum I'm going to try to ingest, so but it'll be interesting to see it. Right, it's a block of Stark, 10 movie photo cards, one stick of gum. And it's that old type of card that folds the back. This is interesting. This is by a company I've never seen before, Edge Entertainment. Eight cards per pack, Judge Dread the Movie Collector cards. Now this is super interesting and super shysty. So right here, so basically there are nine cards that actually complete this set, which appear exclusively uh, from the Edge Entertainment. Yeah, it features all new art with original story. To receive these exciting final nine panels, you have to actually send them $10. So in order to get the complete set, you have no chance of getting them from the booster packs. You have to mail out $10 to the manufacturers and then they'll give you the final cards. Deal. So. And it's no wonder why this company no longer exists. Anyway. Going next, 101 Dalmatians trading cards. Features nine cards and mini magazine. Like, I don't know how they're gonna fit a magazine in here. Including pop out, stick em, pin on, and more per pack. Like that's, that's, that's promising a lot for a pack of trading cards. Another Skybox pack. Nine cards, mini magazine, pop out, stick up, pin on, and uh, this is an interesting pack. I would be curious to see how they fit a magazine in here. This is a really interesting pack. I can tell it's very thin. There's not much in it. It's the old wrapping type, and it's from the movie Coneheads, which I don't recall ever seeing. Consume mass quantity Coneheads, five movie photo cards. It's by Topps, which is a pretty popular company, still making cards today. So yeah, interesting old packaging style. This one's kind of interesting. Free Willy 2. The Adventure Home. A coloring card in every pack. Yeah, no. I uh, don't know why they would have made Free Willy cards or why they'd Free Willy. He's a killer whale. If he's locked up, this probably for a good reason. The Black Hole from Walt Disney Studios. I've never seen this movie either. 10 movie cards. It's tops. One sticker, one stick of gum is the gum inside. Oh, we can hear that gum rattling around in pieces in there. So gum's definitely in there. And Jurassic Park. Look for random action holograms. So it looks like there is a chance we are going to pull a shiny card today, which would be awesome because the last one I didn't get a shiny card. New Series 2, Jurassic Park. Eight movie cards plus a sticker. Stickers are always cool. All right, without further ado, though, let's get started. Let's start with the Lion King stuff, just because I want to get this sticker pack, which doesn't really count out of the way, by this community company. Let's open this up. Oh, they're, like, stuck inside of here. Oh, gosh, they are. Okay. So what do we got? Stickers that's definitely part of a bigger picture, or it's just misprinted. Doesn't have the border. Hyena. hyena. Simba jumping. Another hyena pit. So this is all hyena pits now. Uh, some other animal. Hippos and elephants. These aren't really cool stickers. This one's definitely part of a bigger st sticker too, I guess. It doesn't have the border on both sides. Backs. 232 stickers. Wow, that's... These are numbered. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see what the actual cards look like. The Lion King Series 2, eight cards per pack, Skybox. Apparently you can pay $12 
and uh, you get uh, I don't know, a collector album. It looks like interesting. Um, let's open this puppy up. I guess there's a few companies. That's not the first time I have read that they said do it a collector's album. Okay, so they're definitely brightly colored. They're quite nice, actually. They were kind of a shiny coat. They're not that cheap cardboard. They're kind of a finished cardboard feel. They look pretty nice. Back tells a little bit about the scene, number of the card. These aren't bad looking cards. Much better than the stickers. The art's actually kind of interesting. Kuda Matata. Kind of remember this scene where they sing that song. These guys, Timon and Pumbaa, that's right. Oh, he's put himself into a corner now. The confrontation, the baboon. Rafiki's words of wisdom. What's the word of wisdom? <clears throat> the question is, who are you? Um, all right, I don't feel like I can even... Oh, a piece of a bigger picture. These cards that I always try to get you to... Oh, you have to buy more cards because now you need to know what the full picture is. I personally don't care what the picture is. These were interesting, though. I'll give them a 3 out of 10. Up next, let's get some of these old cards out of the way with the gum. Let's get the gum out of the way, even though it's probably going to fall all over the place. Okay, this one was kind of falling apart, so let's start with the black hole. Again, I haven't seen this movie. Okay, this is the first time I'm going to see this old gum. Let's see this stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. It's dried up and really gross. Brittle. Ugh. Let's see if it smells like anything. It has no smell whatsoever. Um, so I couldn't tell you. It's probably bubblegum flavored. I'm, I'm not eating it. It's. I'm not going to be able to go to a dentist when my tooth shatters. So I'm not doing that. <clears throat> but these cards are the oh ugh, there's a piece of gum <laughs> stuck to the back of this card oh you can even see the gum kind of leaked some sort of moisture into this card and yeah, the backs of these cards are extremely uninteresting this one's got some text but a lot of them okay let's go to what these cards are so this is from a movie i've never even heard of warriors of space it's a basic background crew of humanoids yeah never seen this movie Looks like an old B movie and half though. Fate of Cygnus. Command Center. Star Wars droid look like thing. These guys were trying to be cool like Star Wars. Uh, Kate's Unorthodox Escape. That googly eyed. You can't take that robot seriously, though. Bob? Oh, and its name is Bob? That's even worse. Yeah, no, it must have... If it wasn't a comedy, that would have just been a pretty weird robot. Extorted by robot sentries. Black hole. Power of the enemy. Neato. Well, um, they're the cheap kind of cardboard. For the most part, the front looks like it's got a slight finish, but... The back is that cheap cardboard. And when I refer to cheap cardboard, I mean just like an unfinished kind of feel to it. Like it's just literally ink on cardboard, which kind of the only the old cards have it. All the new cards kind of have some sort of glossy kind of coat to them, even if they aren't holographic. Another gum card. Oh, this gum's going to be stuck. These cards are nasty. Oh, this gum's actually quite intact. Look at that. This is a limited edition collector's piece gum here. This thing's almost intact here. Yeah, let's see if this smells like anything. Uh, oh, not really. No, it doesn't. It's got kind of a chalky feel to it. Uh, yeah, interesting. Busted now in the garbage. Okay. So, Indiana Jones. This was a great movie, too. Attacked by Arab henchmen. Oh, that's just racist. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess it's not racist to say they were Arab, but... Threatened by Indiana Jones. Ark of the Covenant. Cool. Escape to the Skies. I don't think anybody cares about the back, but I'll show the backs just in case. Chamber of Death. Overseers of Evil. 
Marion in the jam. And not the strawberry kind. Our heroes doomed. Spoiler alert, they weren't doomed. They made a few of these movies. The Collapsing Walls. Super iconic scene right here. This is probably the best card ever. It's just the scene. Actually, probably there's one of him actually picking up the idol. The Mysterious Medallion. All right, well, that's kind of cool. We're probably gonna get doubles because we've got another pack of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, let's find out what's in here besides the gum that's probably mint condition. It's it's also pretty minty. It's just got that one snap to it. This, So I guess this was the full-size piece of this gum. It was about yay big. And probably okay-ish at the time, except, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. Oh, it took the hit. All right, garbage those and... See what the new cards are. The rivals meet. Inside the map room. Ooh, it's inside a Egyptian temple here. Board the Bandu Bandu Wind. Race for the Ark. I hate snakes. Good thing where I live there are no snakes. Secret of the Medallion. That mysterious medallion from before, no doubt. I don't really remember much of this movie now, looking at these cards. The Drinking Contest. Captives of the Evil One. Mystery of History. Oh, that was a clever one. Where's Marion? I think they could have chose better screenshots to make the cards of, like... The newspaper clipping itself isn't very interesting. It's still, it's, it's a little too blurry to even really make out what's written on it. So I don't know what the point of this would be, but I don't know. And they're that cheaper, unfinished cardboard. And I complain about sometimes, but I kind of knew they would be. Just like these must be, except I don't know if these can be, because there is a random action hologram. Let's hope we get that hologram. No, let's save this for last, because I think this is our only hope to get a hologram. So let's save that and open Free Willy 2, the adventure at home. I kind of vaguely remember seeing one of these movies when I was younger, but I don't really remember much about it. Except for him jumping over a stone kind of border. There, the cheaperish cardboard. Oh. Firing. Now I kind of actually remember this. I think I've seen this movie. Orcs in the Wild. Oh, this must be the coloring card. You color it. You gotta have pretty good coloring skills to get into these tiny lines, though. Oh, and it's dual sided coloring card. What's on the other side of these ones? Oh, yeah, information about the shots. On patrol. Not even a screenshot from the movie. They just put a cartoon in. They're like, ah, three shots of the movie's probably enough. We put a coloring card in there. The, ah, those cards were not in the least entertaining. But Coneheads is probably also not going to be too entertaining. They're the old type in these packs. But, uh, they're finished, though. They're not the cheap cardboard. They're the kind of more finished cone heads are they a brick no they do separate <clears throat> yeah i've never seen this movie abe lincoln with lipstick cones bearing gifts yeah none of these scenes ring a bell to me at all planet of the cones yeah no i don't remember this Long distance call, that's like a phone and they put it on their head or something. Country Club Conehead. Oh, that guy, that's from Ghostbusters or something, I don't know. Interesting though. These cards were also not good. These are a lot of not good. I'm sorry guys, thanks for th hanging through. We're gonna be rewarded though, I promise. We're gonna get a, a hologram out of here. I mean, I, I shouldn't promise that. In fact, now that I promise that we're not gonna get a shiny car, I'm sorry, I let us down again here. No, let's let's see this. This this has gotta be a good one. 101 Dalmatians trading cards. It's got a lot. 
It's got nine cards, mini magazine, pop out, stick them, pin on, and much more per pack. Well, not much more, just as more. So let's see what's all in this pack. All right. So we got the movie card. Scenes from the movie. A little description about the scene. Names of some of the dogs. I guess they all had names. House of DeVille. Oh, this is the pop-up. So it, it said every card, everything includes a pop-up and stickers. So here's stickers. These aren't that bad, actually. Those are pretty cool stickers. They seem pretty decent quality, too. Um, this is a pop-up, so I guess it makes a little dog that stands up. I'm not going to try to make it here. So what else did it say it came with? It said it came with this little magazine. Oh, wow, it came with a little magazine. Okay, this pack was really interesting. This is crazy. And then what is this? This is like another part of the pop-up. It's like a part of a house or something. Hmm, this is actually kind of interesting. And then another card. I guess you can color it, yeah, color in. Interesting, a coloring card. And then this, which is a tag. Oh, it did say that there's a tag too. It probably pin on. Wow, it really did come with everything it said it did. That was rather impressive, actually. I wasn't expecting it because it just felt like your average. And it still found time to put in an ad card to get your cassette player. I wonder how much this was. $15. Oh, you get it if you buy $15 worth of 101 Dalmatians products. They gave you a cassette player. That's actually kind of interesting. That's kind of neat. I guess uh, they could afford to do that when they were selling all these super cool cards. All right, now we got Judge Dredd. So we haven't pulled any shinies yet, but I guess they are older cards and shinies were a little bit rare back then. I don't know if these are going to be shiny either. Two, Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd is a movie I've never seen. I've played the pinball machine though, which is really awesome. It has this mode where you get five balls. It's every ball is a five ball multi-ball and it's just awesome. It's pretty sweet. It's also ridiculously hard and it's, but it's still fun. Okay, so this is a little bit sticky together. Fatties. Okay, already I love this. It's a really big guy. He's huge. He's got a sword with a big piece of ham. He's got like food in the tray around him. He's all gross and he's sitting on some chair that's barely supporting him. Ah, oh, this is a great card. I like it. And the back is part of some bigger image, I guess you make number 73. Judge Dredd. Or Judge and Mean. Sylvester Stallone, eh? Some face thing. Rico. Some guy that needs a nose job, but probably can't afford it. Sleep just. Okay, this is going to have to be our shiny for... This is the shiniest thing we're going to see is the writing. Sleep just. Sleep on the just? I don't get it. A sleep of the just. Oh, I don't know. I've never seen the movie, as you can probably tell if you've seen this movie. Judge Anderson. We're in the same getup. Well, judges, I guess. I don't get the concept. The back of this card is like nothing. Judge Dredd. The back's got nothing. Judge Hershey. She brings over chocolate when she shows up and then judges you for eating it. Judge Dredd. Another Judge Dredd, but I guess there's probably only so many judges. Those were less amusing than I thought they'd be. These are by that... What was that company again? Active, I know, Edge Entertainment. Okay, so really our only hope to get a shiny card is this Jurassic Park. Eight movie cards inside. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be interesting. And it's also going to be shiny. 
a really old movie. They have a lot of Jurassic Parks out now. This is the old school OG Jurassic Park. Okay, already I can tell they're like cheesy. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Okay, I don't want to spoil it, but I think we got a super duper shiny card. Okay, so, all right, we got an elephant trunk. Boring, this is kind of a, like, what a terrible shot for a card. Like, why, would, out of all the shots in the movie they, they could have picked, they picked this. Like, that's, oh, maybe that's the back. Okay, that probably makes more sense, actually. Oh, and it's part of one of those bigger picture things. Ah, well, that's what it, okay. That makes more sense now. This is, oh, and this is a really sickly, disgustingly awesome foil. It's one of those awesome 3D holograms. Oh my gosh, this made everything so worth it. This is, this is gorgeous. This is literally a thing of beauty. It's, I hope that the camera does some justice to it. It's a dinosaur that kind of comes out of the egg in a 3D-ish kind of way and rainbowy, and it's really a beautiful card and it's got a background to it. This is, this is a really nice looking card. I really, really like it. Back's got three of four. There was only four hologram cards and our chances of getting one were probably quite slim and yet we got one. This is really, really nice. Anyway, I'll try to get over how cool that was, but I'm always blinded by shininess. Uh, more Monster Miracles. It's been a long time since I've seen this. No, actually, it hasn't been maybe 10 years. Well, I guess that's a long time, but... Man-made monsters. Oh, I guess film director standing beside one of them. And for anybody who's like, you're opening these old 25-year-old plus movie cards, that's like, why would you open that? They're worthless. They're literally worthless. They're I paid less than a dollar each. They're, they're not worth anything, so... Don't don't be sad. If if you if you would like one, you can get them very easily yourself. Um, monsters and the mural. Target Muldoon. All new second series. Well, that's pretty much it. That's it for the 90s movies cards, which was all made worth it. We got rewarded in the end. We were delivered with a shiny, a gorgeous, shiny, beautiful, shiny card. You can see it's like two hands holding up the egg and then the egg hatches, depending on how you hold it. It's What a really interesting hologram too, because holographic usually means something different. It's not usually a hologram. This is actually something quite exceptional. I quite like it. It's got a 3D-ness to it too. If you could see, if you look at the top of the egg, you can see you're actually getting a bit of a 3D effect on what's happening behind it. And that caution sign and stuff, it's it's really unique. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'm over it. But yeah, that was really cool. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. This was a bit of a long one. Um, so if you stayed here till the end, you're a champ and you obviously like weird trading card stuff like me. Um, every time I open one of these, it's like Christmas. It's awesome. This may be my least performing uh, YouTube content, but for me, it's one of my favorites to actually do. So if you like this kind of stuff, let me know in below. And if there's any old cards you'd like to see in particular, maybe I'll have an interest in opening them too and maybe I'll get them. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.